And if I asked you to list as many drinks as you could. Yeah, Coke, Pepsi, Sprite, Fanta, Coke, Lift Plus, V, Red Bull, um, Big Coke, Rasta Blaster, Hemp, um, what else do I know? you get when you give two New Zealand skateboarders and a BMX rider a blank check to build their dream skate park? There was ever to be a skateboarding heaven, a new complex in New Zealand would definitely fit the bill. What they are calling the dream skate park. Skateboarding and arcade <laughs> games wrapped into one. Get ready, ready. Our idea was to make a fully functioning pinball machine you can ride. Enlisting the help of three extreme sports pros, we set to work building a 600 square metre pinball machine in a warehouse in West Auckland. A TV series and video blog let fans follow the build, which included a 13 metre high backboard, bumpers, flippers, tunnels, even a plunger to launch you in. As well as dedicated zones for each flavour. And it was wired with hundreds of sensors, sounds and lights to score your run just like pinball. The result saw skaters become the ball in a real-life pinball skate park. And when it was finished, we opened it up for the public to ride. A television commercial promoted the park via a website. Once online, you could explore the machine, relive the build, watch a live feed and download your own 360 photos. With only 10% of the budget spent on media, we needed fans to share it themselves. And they did, not just in New Zealand, but around the world. Even Tony Hawk tweeted about it. Record sales followed, with Mountain Dew becoming the fastest growing CSD brand in New Zealand, and number one in convenience and oils for the first time in history. We saw thousands of skaters, hundreds of bales, one high score, and one skate pinball champion whilst the TV commercial recorded the highest talkability ever measured in New Zealand.